Hello children, welcome to story time with Miss Nidhi. In today's story, we are going to meet Vita and Dilly. And coincidentally, this is the title of our today's story. Can you see a picture of Veera with an onion on his head? What do you think, uh, you know, Veera is thinking or what could have happened in this story? Let's find out by reading our story today. This book is written by Mimu Thomas and illustrated by David and it's a Ratham publication. So let's get started and find out what Veera and Dilly are doing together. Veera woke up with butterflies in his stomach. Today he was going with Ai and Baba to harvest onions in the field. He was thrilled to be meeting Dilly again. A few months ago Veera had helped so onion saplings in the field. It was there that he first met Tilly. No one had paid much attention to Tilly. It hadn't grown as well as the other saplings. But Veera had been very hopeful. He believed if he took care of it, Tilly would have the chance to grow into a healthy onion. If the sprinklers could reach Tilly, Veera poured the water himself. He even ran behind the flies to chase them out of field. Shoo! Shoo! Go away! Go away! After the tempo stopped, Veera ran into the onion field and searched for Tilly. He spotted the white bell he had placed near it. Tilly stood gleaming in the sun. Some of its leaves had turned yellow and fallen down. I told him this was a very good sign. It shows that the onion bulbs are fully grown and ready to be harvested. Everyone started digging out the onions. After hours of effort, all the onions were unearthed, all except one. I hugged Veera towards Tilly. Too many thoughts clouded Veera's mind. What if Tilly hadn't grown into a healthy bulb? Would Tilly leave him now? Veera froze and clutched onto his eye. I held Veera by the hand and walked him over to Tilly. She started loosening the mud. Veera joined in and started digging. He pulled out the onion and wiped off the mud covering it. There was a smile on his face. Tilly had turned into a round, shiny and purple pearl. Veera felt so proud. He held Tilly to his chest. He saw people holding sickles between their toes, separating the leaves from the bulbs. Veera cut Tilly's leaves himself. They look like tufts of hair on Tilly's head. Baba laid out large tarpaulin sheets. The onions were spread out on them to dry for five days. Veera held Tilly tighter to his chest. Veera, do you want to take Tilly home for the five days? Baba asked. Veera said loud, yes! At dinner, I and Baba spoke about how good the yield was that year. We may have to take a bigger tempo to carry the onions to the mandi, said I. Veera felt uneasy about Tilly going away. He ate very little food. For the next few days, Veera kept returning to the room to look at Tilly. He couldn't stop admiring it. You know what? He was feeling so proud that he took care of that plant. And the plant has grown into a beautiful big onion. Baba, Ayi, can I keep Tilly with me? Can you please not sell Tilly at the Mandi? Tears rolled down Veera's eyes. Veera, how long can you keep it with you? Till you will start to go bad in a few weeks, said Baba. Veera said, then it's better to sell Tilly with the other onions. Good decision, Veera. This way, Tilly will become delicious food for someone, said I. Veera imagined Tilly being picked up by a famous chef who would invent a new dish with it. And he smiled. Next morning, the onions were filled into gunny sacks, big, big gunny sacks. And these sacks were loaded onto the tempo. Veera snacks snug between the sacks with Tilly in his hands. 
at the gate of the mandi baba called out 120 quintal no secret anyan the person at the gate entered these details into a computer and handed a slip to baba baba laid out some onions for display traders came to check their quality the onions were sold to the traders who bid the highest price baba looked happy each sack was weighed and loaded onto the traders truck baba turned towards veera he smiled at the place till he in the last sack boarding the truck so that's how veera let go dilly but children you know you can grow your own dilly would you want me to tell you let me share with all of you okay what you need to do you need to cut the bottom half of an onion and then you will have to leave it out to dry for a day and then you have to hang the onion cutting over a small bowl of water you can see the roots with its roots just touching the water and you will notice in a few days white roots will grow and then what you need to do then you need to plant the onion cutting in a pot of soil and place the pot in a sunny spot and you would need to water it every day and you can give it give a name to your onion and wait for it to grow so how veera had named her plant tilly you can choose any name of your liking and you all know nasik red onion is a variety of onion grown in nasik in the state of maharashtra a mandi is you know what is a mandi a mandi is a wholesale market where produce are sold in bulk quantities so nasik's lasalgaon mandi is the largest wholesale onion market in india sounds very big if you ever get a chance to visit it do go and visit the mandi traders purchase the produce in bulk quantities at the mandi and sell it in small amount to shopkeepers and you sell it to people like you and me when we go to a supermarket or a vegetable vendor to shop for our vegetables and onions i hope you found the story interesting and do try to grow your own tilly and if you do so share the picture of your tilly with me on any social platform but take help of your parents not yourself i would love to see your tilly is growing in a pod and wait for me till i come back with yet another exciting story for all of you See you bye bye